Never duplicated. Tony TGD. And of course I'm joined by the one and only, the legendary sidekick Max. He was out there partying it up. Swim in the swim. Sun in the sun. Tan in the tan. He was out there living it up yesterday. But today, he's here. Here with us. Playing some games. What's up, Max? How's it going? Did you like the introduction? <laughs> I guess I did. You didn't ask me to say hello to the people. Hello, people. They're too late. I was going to say, let me check. I think I got it set automatically, so it will tweak this out. Hopefully. Hopefully. Squeaky chair's back. Squeaky chair in the house. Regular. Got snacks. Got chips, cookies, brownies. Uh, the best part is, there's nobody here yet, so you're probably not going to hear any of this. Yep. So, you excited? You excited for this new game here? Mm-hmm. What, what are we playing today? Um, stay. What is the premise of this game? Some dude wakes up in a weird room, and the only thing that's really there is a computer, and he's talking in, like, an online chat room, and we happen to be the other person he's talking to. And depending on our choices, we might get him killed. We might? So you, you think that there's a chance we're not going to get him killed? Yeah. You think that there's a chance... That will help him. That will be successful in this game. Yes. Hopefully. I, I do not have faith. I'm going to use the FBI profiler tactics I, I don't have that I've learned from Criminal Mind. I don't have the faith. The faith that you have, I do not have in us. I have faith in us. Because I can fake compassion. So let me tweet this out. It did not automatically tweet out. I think StreamYards automatically tweets out. But PS5 uh, does not. Haven't we known this for a while? Huh? Haven't we known that for a while? No, because I started seeing tweets that said, like, I am now live. And I'm like, I didn't tweet this out. Like, what the hell is this? So here we go. I'm putting it. We are live. Hello. What up, J.M. De Los Santos? Uh, tweeting this out, we are live playing Horror Game Stay. That's right, I am talking my tweet. You guys don't got to see the tweet now. Uh, let me... Nice train going by. We're going to have lots of fireworks. I'm excited. You excited? I'm very excited. Fourth of July is on a Monday. Yay. You know you love it. You know you love Fourth of July. It is the most right. fantastic holiday of all holidays. I am not proud to be an American right now. You're proud. All right, we got this. Um, <laughs> Can't tell me whether or yeah, not you I'm are. proud. We're gonna connect. All right, we're connecting. Let's go. What's going on? Stay. It's got that fancy A. Uh, press any button to continue. It says this game saves automatically. You can leave anytime you want, but your time away from the game will have consequences. Every second you are absent is a second the character is left alone. That means if we stop playing at any point... <laughs> he won't be talked to for like at least he's gonna be Yeah, he's going to be dead. The game addresses themes such as anxiety, death, loneliness, and depression. For mental hey, health hey. information or support, please visit stayagame.com. Headphones, darkness, isolation. All right. This game is going to be freaky. Yep. Uh, give me some of that macadamia nut cookie. Don't be hiding that macadamia nut. You told me there was only chocolate chip and raisin. You gotta hide some macadamia. Because the macadamia was mine. Uh, mine at all. It says, uh, did Dean TV get his refund? If a side on Friday night SmackDown is not enough to get a refund, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I haven't talked to Dean in a while. Dean don't like us right now. It's a bird. It is a bird. He wrote a note, covered up his bird. He like, it wasn't really a no, I mean, it wasn't legible, man. And he walked his stinky feet across the room. Yo, me? I think that says 444, yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Starring Quinn. Don't know who Oh, shit, he's getting abducted. Kidnapping him. I saw Saw. Co-starring you. Yeah. yeah! Who's you? Is that like a Chinese name? <laughs> You can't make those jokes anymore. I could. Chapter 1. Thalamus. So, seriously, does that mean we have to come back and play this every day? Like, we can't wait till next week, because then he'll die. Probably. Alright. So, 
our guy here, he's chapter one. That was hello. Anybody there? Help, please. Uh, should we say hello? Hello is X. I can turn the power off. <laughs> I can stayed. What the hell does stayed mean? Mm -mm. Um. Okay. Uh, his mood. So that's afraid. He's afraid. Uh, sanguine is blood. Phlegmatic. Melancholic. Choler. 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 Wow, this is just weird. Emotional bond. Stranger. Uh, trust level low. All right. What was the other button? Hello is back. Okay. So you can go away. You gonna say hello? Hello. I'm here. You gotta hit it again, son. I don't know how you said <laughs> No. Uh, wrong one. Okay, so we're confused here. Hold on. <laughs> I said hello. Oh, I gotta hit the O button. Hello, I'm here. I can't believe this piece of crap is working. Whoever this is. I think he's sick. Please just tell me what's going on. I, got, I know the fuck what's going on. What I have no idea. L3 is info. Fuck. What the fuck is happening? I don't know what stayed means, but where are you or who who are you? Where are we going with? Who are you? Who are you? All right. You must calm down and tell me who you are. He's dead already. You killed him. Did I ask you the same thing? Bruh! Bruh, you're the one who's kidnapped. I'm, yeah. I'm no one. There's been some misunderstanding. Yeah, he's sick. Not supposed to be here. Not? I'm just a regular guy whose life went to hell. And? Really? You're compassionate and? And? I want to know more. Not like and, like, oh, and? I mean, he said and, it stopped. And what? Oh, okay, and what? What were you going to say? What do you mean with your life went to hell? So which, which choice? <laughs> to hell. <laughs> now we'll go with Anne. Uh, wow. You wanted to go with Anne? And what? What were you going to say? <laughs> and it's none of your business! Bruh! Bruh, you kidnapped, yeah. That combo right there. Or something I would loosely tell us a, a total straight dude who is probably responsible for my presence this Oh, so you think I kidnapped you? <laughs> What do you want from me? From the... I don't know you. I got nothing to do with it. Seriously, for the last time, whatever is happening to you, I have nothing to do with it. Yeah. Uh oh, what's that? What's that mean? I have a good one. Because those extras are bad. Seriously, I'm sorry for bursting like that. I believe you. Just let me think a minute. Hold on, okay. Let me think a minute. Trust level still low. Yeah. One moment I'm in my bed trying to get some sleep. The next, bam! Emerald hits him with some of that uh, cooking. He's like, bam! Spices. Someone bashes me in the head. How does he know we got bashed in the head? Am I what? I would probably be looking at this. Is Max your kid? Yeah, Max is my kid. No, I'm the neighbor's kid. What are you talking about? Don't make that joke, because they'll think you're serious. <laughs> I know. Uh, Seriously, guys. I woke up in a strange pitch black place with nothing but a computer with an open chat room with a stranger who knows as little as I do. What a freaking nightmare. I just want to pinch myself and wake up. Fucking hell, this is happening for real. 
911? Do you want me to send you help? Call 911? Yeah, that sounds good. It would be helpful if I knew where I was. Can I have a pinpoint your location? But yeah. haven't got the slightest clue of my whereabouts. Figure it out. After waking up in room 101. How do you know you're in room 101? I just lost track of time and everything else in between. No cell phone, no shoes, no nothing. So that means he has something. So that's all I was able to check for now. I know it's a strange setting. But it's real. Jesus, dude, type in better sentences. And I really need your help. Uh, search the walls or search the place? Place. I need a... Not a minute to waste, then. Search the place. Are we Dr. Seuss now? Not a minute to waste. Search the place. My eyes are still adjusting to the dark. Dude, you're really pathetic. Close your eyes for like 20 seconds. I feel dizzy and my head hurts like it's beating along with the pulse. Give me just a few moments. My rabbit dude says Mickey Mouse could soon leave Disney as 95 year old Kuiper expires near us. He'll be retiring unless Disney gets the rights back. That's not yeah. true, rabbit dude. Which means they might make a horror film about That's it. That's not true. What? They're not losing the rights to Mickey Mouse. They're losing the rights to Steamboat Willie. Just that one cartoon. So they might make a horror movie about that cartoon though. Because yeah. that's what happened to Winnie the Pooh. And then we got the Winnie the Pooh horror movie, which I Give me just a few moments while I do a little survey expedition. Uh, any theory or useful? Um, any theories? Do you have a theory for why this happened to you? Didn't have much time to think about it. I just want to get out of this place. My number one concern is to find a way out. Does he have a family? Because that'd be my number one concern. It's some no. inspection of the walls within my reach. He had a bird. And that felt the paint peeling off one. And some kind of textured wallpaper on another. That skin, homie. Yeah. There's an old heater with antique vibes, but it's out of order. It's not really just use vibes on us. And thank goodness for that because it's unbearably hot in here as it is. And I didn't stumble on anything. Didn't. Dude, you fucking suck at spelling. He sneezed. God bless you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! What's gonna happen? What'd you do? Oh, just Nemo Willie, that makes sense. Maybe I should have read the whole article. Yeah. And not just the title, yeah. Because it's clickbait. Because Mickey Mouse, because they make new cartoons of Mickey, those Mickey. cartoons all have their own separate copyright. No. Uh, what the what the fuck is happening? Now I'm interested. Saw something. Saw something. By the tone, I guess you just saw something out of place. What's up with the blood? Why did the blood go? Just feel like I'm in some shitty horror movie. I think he's nervous. There's some kind of flashing light for the on the far wall that just burst out of nowhere. Don't go near it. Go near the light. No. Let me look at it and I'll be no, right back. No, yeah, Go, go by the light. Go. He's white. White people check stuff out. You're right. Yeah, let me touch the fluorescent light. What's, what's that? Am I supposed to do something? Twisting the light. Which one? Right there. That one. Yeah. No, I didn't realize it was a puzzle until. Yeah. There you go. I just saw a puzzle in the corner and I didn't actually know it was a puzzle. There's a door! Oh, it's also a light. And a firefly! Awesome. I have a feeling that he's gonna die. Bam! I get stabbed right through the fucking door. Yeah. I saw that movie before. Like, Are we the firefly? 
No, we live in the computer. Why is a firefly following him then? I don't know, but we live in a computer. Obviously. Uh, user statistics, well. Most people went with any theory. 54% of users, including you, felt that it was time for spoilers at the beginning of chapter one. <laughs> no! You know what? <laughs> it's not what I thought. <laughs> chapter two, Clusterum. Clusterum. I'm glad you're here again. Just came back from checking those funky lights. Gnarly, bro. Put your webcam. Few moments of battle with the fluorescent bulb. Fluorescent bulb. I'm pleased to announce that we conquered darkness. Yeah. Conquer. Darkness has been defeated. Dun, 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 dun. Do we level up? Firefly. Our paths are made lighter if we allow beauty and grace to fill our lives. Passion, guidance, self illumination, freedom. I wonder if that's what fireflies are. What if you gotta use the bathroom? And with light came a solitary firefly and some useful discoveries. Like a locked wooden door. Someone what? It looks fragile and burnt on the sides. And I'm still wondering if it's locked to keep me inside or to keep someone out. Should we knock it down or look no, through the keel? No, not trying to knock it down. Look through the keyhole. You sure? They might get stabbed in the eye if it looks through the keel. But if you try to knock it down, you're gonna alert whoever it is that you're trying to escape. You run less likely. Alright, we'll look to the keyhole. Well, I would advise you to try looking for something on the other side of the door through the keyhole. There is no keyhole. Uh-oh. Why did his yellow get up? People peek through keyholes? People who peek through keyholes have to expect an occasional poke in the eye. See? That's what I used to say to those who indulge in voyeurism. Hey, yo. Forget to mention it to you. Forgot to mention it to you. But I'm a therapist, new atheist, and consumer of heavy-duty painkillers. A complete package if you know what I mean. Sounds like you should just therapy yourself, bro. The occupational part is on a pigeonhole right now due to some problems. But old habits die hard, so don't listen to any bullshit from me. <laughs> yeah. But nonetheless, I'll take your advice. It's, if it's useful, of course. Uh oh. He's gonna get poked in the eye, watch. When he, when he dies. so bad. When he dies, it's the fault. No, I need to poke. See, I knew what it was doing. Why did he try going the other way? That's what the open door is. I think my mind is playing tricks on me already. But the overall conclusion is that I can't see shit of what's on the other side of the door. You tried pushing the door? What do I do now? Pull the door. Kick it. Forget the door or kick it down? This is your choice. I'm going to kick it down. Kick that down. Look down. Turns out it's a pool door. I have the strangest feeling that this is not going to end well for me. <laughs> I kick like a 100 year old mule. Dude, it's not being a pussy! Or maybe you just believe in me more than I do. And I can awaken force in me. The force is going to be a Jedi. <laughs> and know. knock that door down with my mind. Yeah, he did. He was talking about the force. Let's go for round two. Let's go! Oh. Is there like trip? Snap, 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 snap. The door blows up. <laughs> I said kick. I, <laughs> I told you it was a pool door. <laughs> the door just fell on him. Daddy didn't die from that. Chapter two. I'm sorry, but those don't look that heavy. <laughs> They're not. There's no way that that door killed them. A lot of them metal that was painted as wood, but then it was sort of fell, fall, fell, fell, 
Fallen. Fallen. Okay. No, I was the hell is this game? Well. Anytime you even go, it is called Stay. Some guy is kidnapped, and we gotta talk him through figuring out what's going on. We're like a hostage negotiator, but not really. I think we should tell him to break the door down first, right away. They're just gonna get him killed. You think so? Yes. Come on, fast forward. It looks fragile and burnt on the sides. I, I missed that the first time. Knock it down. Because it's your way out. Knock it down. That's right. Knock that son of a bitch down. Let me, let me give you a visual picture of what I look like. I'm five foot, 9.5 inches, tall man, therapist, new atheist, and a consumer of heavy duty painkillers. He's not a real man, he's not even six foot. One of those five skinny fat people. One of those skinny fat people with really low muscle mass. Is I would five? have to go through a massive miracle in the supernatural time. I'm making garlic bread, awesome. Mm, To be able to knock that wooden door or even a paper door down, but hey, today could be a good day to start believing in miracles, right? <laughs> He's a real man. He's a man's man. He's also 69 inches tall. Nice. 69 yeah. and a half. But hey, why did he get up? Where did he go? Sir? Sir? Are you there? Sir? There you go. Just like I anticipated, this door is not going to give away that easy. Oh, I see. My dyslexia was like, huh? I could swear it felt a little hot. I don't know if it's, it's generally hot in here. What should I do? Uh, we know if he kicks it down, he's going to die. Mm -hmm. uh, forget the door, better not push that low. What's up with the chart? I don't know what those things mean. Starting, I'm finally feeling that we're starting to get along because I definitely agree with you on that call. It's locked for a reason. What is this fade? Let's just the timer to see how far we've been away. Yeah. Uh, what appears to be a sickening game. Let's obey the rules at least at the beginning of what appears to be a sickening game conceived by a disordered mind. Tell me about your patience, or do you think it's a game? I think he gets. I don't think he's gonna tell us about his patience. It's like Dr. Count and Dead Can you speak? Tell me about your patience. Yeah. That's what I said. What do you think I said? You, you. I've probably seen too many movies, but do you think someone's playing a game with you? It's like Saw. You would the right path again. I've probably seen, well, it, it could be, but what kind of game? The saw type, or more like a chess match? There's no visible death traps, no direct interaction with the kidnapper, no bombs to switch off, just a computer, you and me. Unless he's waiting to see how I behave in this environment. How do you know it's a Studying my reactions, analyzing my every word and gesture. Like a game of switch roles between therapist and patient. Oh, he thinks he's a patient. Or perhaps he just wants to keep me here until I completely lose it and hang myself with my shoelaces. Great, I'm barefoot. Why did you leave them? Heal the wall of people. You know what I'm asking? Why did you abandon your patients? Yeah, peel the wall, people. We don't know anything about his patience. We wouldn't ask that question. This yeah. room is full of mysteries. You're right, we should go with what we have. 
and they sure don't give away any hints for free. I hope no one gets mad at me for wrecking their place. I don't think he would care. All excuses are good excuses when it comes to redecorating, right? Alright, here he goes. You think he's gonna die? He's like, peel the wallpaper and then, like, gorillas come out the wall. Rabbit Dude says, so I read the whole article this time, talks to Mickey Mouse going to public domain, it's on the Guardian, unless they mean one cartoon. It's just the one cartoon, it's definitely not the whole thing. Disney wouldn't allow it. Because Disney has used the character in too many different things. It would have copyright on different items. Yeah. I found the door, no joins or cracks, camouflaged like it was deliberately hidden, and it's unlocked. Looks like we're edging into uncharted territory. If I'm not back in an hour, say a prayer for Do we gotta wait an hour? Or some kind of words in honor of our significant and short companions. Alright, dude. Um, you and the Firefly. Disney stole a bunch of IPs, including Ugly Sonic and Rescue Rangers movies. It's a buffer! Uh, they claimed it as parody fair use. Yeah. Opus Primus is the next chapter. There's a bathroom. A mirror. A toilet. Mirror sink. A toilet. Dirty. Ew, that sink dirty. Yeah, that dude, crazy looking. What's in the medicine cabinet? What's in the box? What's yeah. in the box? Pills. Blue pills and red pills. Oh, he's gonna OCD it? Come on, come on. Organize them, please. Don't take pills. Dude. Organize them. Don't take strange pills. Abba's Primus Legs was even in Rescue Rangers. Was it? Primus. Opus Primus. That door was supposed to be my virtual off ramp to freedom. Led me straight into. A tiny bathroom boasting nasty toilet in the sink. Ugh. All life proceeds out of corruption from prima materia. According to Carl Jung, if you can look clearly at the excrement of your life, you can transform it into gold. Carl Jung's an idiot. The toilet is clogged up with God knows what, and the faucet spits brown water. Ugh. It smells like a mixture of rancid cooked cauliflower and wet dog. Like upchuck with chunks of rotten egg or dark skunk baby born in a dumpster. Or a dank skunk born in a baby dumpster. Uh, I think you get the putrid picture I'm painting, but at least it has a cracked mirror which is incredibly useful. I was worried about how I looked, baggy eyes, bad hair day. No one cares. Excitement of your life was Amiko, he turned it into gold. I think it, he meant excrement. I'm a total mess. Nothing else? Any other exit points? Check the toilet tank. Check the toilet tank, right? Sure. It's not like we were piranhas gonna eat them. People always hide stuff inside the toilet tank. Check it out. If he dies from checking the toilet tank, I will shit myself. Literally. On stream. No, I'm just saying. What's up, Evil Knievel? I always thought that the Godfather ruined the use of toilet tanks as a hiding spot for valuables, but since I don't know what I should be looking for, I guess it's just another valid place to search. Uh, at least it should only have like murky water, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's kind of like there's gonna be acid in there. I'm gonna go take a look and be right back. He's dead. <laughs> Everything is death in this game. You could use that to like bash the door open. It's frog! Frog. Frogs are good. Froggy. Frogs are good. Holy crap. It's a frog. Pardon my French, but I'm almost pissed my pants right now. A frog came out of the toilet tank. Symbol of transition and transformation. This spirit animal supports us in times of change. Or maybe it's just the cursed prince waiting for the smooch that 
the same. The music's a bit loud. Well, maybe it's just my phone. Um, I don't think there was an optional book. Freaking frog. Stay. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Text speed. Brightness. Stats. Uh, no, there's no option here. For uh. I'm so sorry about the chair. There's no option for sound. Yeah. We were away for 33 seconds. Damn. Damn. Uh, how is it possible to find a frog inside a house besides the back tricky? Guess nothing valuable or worth keeping. Uh, what's your name? Or I'm sorry. Um. I'm sorry? I'm sorry for the useless tip and for the scare. Hope we have better luck next time. Yay, don't be. We're nice. We're gonna win this game. We're gonna you killed this him. Guy. You killed him. Don't be. There's nothing better than two minds thinking together for a main purpose. I actually do mind. Oh. Instead of just one broken one. Aww. He broken. He broken? He broken. <laughs> he broken. Uh, yeah, sometimes articles are dumb like that, rabbit dude. We're a team for now on. I'm planning on making it work. That's game. We're a team. Team free you from death. Uh, he's not Melakalala. Trust level lowest? Why is that thing down? I don't... It's supposed to be... It's supposed to go up. Yeah. Wait, I hear something. It sounds like bells ringing from the corner of the room. Do not go near it. No go matter. near the bells. No. Go to the, no, then stop. check it out. I'll return shortly after commercial break. No, you uh -oh. never go near the, the little whatever. It's going to be like a dog or something. Look at his face mauled off. Nah. That's fine. Of the Godfather fans, 18% of the users, including you, must know that the first person who decided to hide their valuables in the toilet tank was probably a genius. But fortunately, movies ruined this hiding spot forever. No one chose nothing else. No one. In the whole history of people playing this game, not a single person, the Frog Father, yeah, has chose nothing else. It could have been the one. Chapter one. four. Allurist. I'm guessing these are good. these mean something. What the hell? Huh? I found the infinity stones. So here's the updated news. There was a small incident in the room and a shelf with some porcelain came down. Why was it glowing? So I thought I had enough on my plate. The plates decided to multiply and break into pieces. There's three of them, each more shattered than the other. Uh, Huimiko <laughs> says, You put two garbage bags in the trash can. Between the two, you hide the thing. So if you die, they, they take out the trash and no one knows. Yeah. But now everybody knows that because you just said it. Uh, and with its own symbol, it seems. What am I supposed to do with this useless crockery? Throw it all away and start pottery lessons in my line of hipsterish porcelain or rebuild this crab and see if there's a some hint. Trash or is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Do you think it's worth the trouble and time? Is it worth it? Let me work it. Let me thing down, flip it and reverse it. Huh? I'm a Missy Elliott fan, so sue me. <gasps> When you're trapped in an empty room and you feel that your life is in danger, 
Everything you find is worth the trouble and the time. Well, that's where Daxine puts his hard drive. <laughs> People who overthink their decisions have more brain cells in their frontal lobes. As you must have noticed by now, I have no brain cells at all. Me too. The central question is, Which plate should I waste my time on? Do the easy one, no pain, no gain, virtue is in the middle. The hard plate, easy plate? I say the middle. Neither the easy nor the hard one, virtue is taking the middle path. Dang. You're gonna get him killed this time. I feel like I did. Not too easy, not too hard. Moderate dude. Excellent approach. See, you like that. Most excellent. Um, That's a Norse. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, Can you see like five minutes of that? I'll get that whole thing to take. Yeah. I'm being so well, This is obviously going to go down here somewhere. Move, move everything out of the way. No, no, I get it. I'm you good at these things. You can't move everything out of the way. This has got to go here, right? Yeah. yeah. That, that's there. All right. Get the bottom one, the big chunk. Yeah. That goes in there. Uh, that one right there? No, no, no. That one goes down there. No, uh, other side. Yeah. Um. That's deep, it's way off. I want to get that big chunk. Uh, get that big chunk. Huh? It's gonna go down here. Cause that's gonna go right on. Yeah. Obviously that goes over there. That does not go there. It does! Look, it fits perfect. Yeah, fits. That fits. goes right in there. No, stop. Hold on. Let me move this. I'm going to take this series for a second. Right, this has got to go here. Right, that the one that's all the way right there. That one goes right in that. Not, not that, that. There's no down. Right there? Yeah. This is up, it's up, like right now, over, right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. I was the gym was gonna put it there. Sure, sure that you were. Was. Sure, I believe you. Up, over, no, no, <laughs> down. There you go. That one, come on, that one's spelled out for you. That one too. I don't think we need to do the rest of it, Jesus. There we go. Alright, I did that. It's a kitty! Fucking cat. <gasps> it's a kitty! Why didn't we get a cat? I'll be damned. Behind every broken plate, there's a naughty cat in action. Triquetra Pagan. Life, death, and whatever comes next. The maiden, the mother, and the crane. Crone. Oh. We got four items. I have a companion now. Oh, the firefly and the frog weren't companions. Yeah, they weren't. Who seems upset at being trapped in here as I am. No need to be jealous, comrade. He's a fucking commie. No wonder why he got kidnapped. You're still my favorite. So I still need your help. I'm... <gasps> Kitty! A frog. <laughs> the cat. Because the cat walked in front. Sorry, it's him telling us that he's from a lost village in Iceland. Interesting thing about cats. This dude has a lot of time to talk, considering he's stuck in a room that he's been kidnapped. I mean, what else are you going to do? Do you know they lower your, lower your stress and anxiety? I'd be like, help me get out of here, not talking about cats. 
Over a 10 year period, cat owners are 30% less likely to die of a heart attack or stroke, which means my kidnapper probably cares about me. What are you gonna name the cat? Does it have a name tag or something? Finally, we got a heart. His name is Oscar, he's quite sweet, follows me everywhere. Cat Oscar, looks like Oscar, the therapy cat. Not quite people friendly. If you ever see him around, you're in trouble. He likes to make the final appearance. Why he look like that? I trust my makeup. Very low. Black and white with little brown splotches. I wonder if I trust my low because I killed him. You think? Love at first sight. Just hope that I'm decent enough company for it to stay with me. Him. Because this is clearly not the Hilton, and cats can be very finicky. Wait, besides the name tag, there's something else on his collar. Oh, the Hilton? What is it? What is it? What's on the collar? 1328. 1320? 1319. Uh, what is that? Yeah, some kind of device. Is the cat gonna explode? With a goddamn countdown, yeah! The cat's gonna explode. Fuck me. The cat's a bomb! Holy crap, it's, is the cat ready to explode? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He's all nervous now, do you think? I don't, I don't know. know. That would be very nasty. My kidnapper's a monster. There's a rule, never kill the cat. Not even Doom! Not even Doom music. Yeah, I know. Not even Doom music. Just remember that rule applies to dogs. Damn it! No, not you. It can't be. Let me grab him and check its belly or something. Yeah, that's gonna work out good because cats love it when you touch their belly. <laughs> you fucking love that shit. <laughs> yeah, see, you got scratched. Told you, stupid. <laughs> He's just like, ow. <laughs> He's fine. Cat. He's fine. It went away. <laughs> Nope, there's no sound coming from inside. He put his face on his belly? Stupid. But I just earned a big scratch on my face. Told you. Good job. I think it's just a warning of the time I have left. We don't know. Which, by the way, is 13 hours. So we couldn't come back the next day. It'd just be a skeleton. <laughs> to try and leave this place? Or else... The cat explodes! Boom, boom. You I'll probably know. die here. You have me and Oscar. Don't worry, you have me and Oscar, a new furry friend. Everything will turn out okay. Excuse me. Narrator, but it wasn't okay. We got our trust up. Yes. Trust is back up to the beginning levels. Good job. Thanks for those words of comfort. I have these conflicted feelings. Why did my chat leave? I don't know. Hey, what up, Mike G? Uh, sometimes I think I go through hard situations all alone. Means less suffering, no collateral damages. But then I become aware that if I were alone, the situation would be unbearable. Regarding Oscar here, this tabby looks unusual. Can't explain why, but... Wasn't that a symbol on Harry Potter? No, it was not. You but, were thinking of the Deathly Hallows symbol. But it's almost like he sensed my pain and despair. Whenever I look at him, it feels therapeutic. therapeutic. I don't have that. What are you talking about? That's, that's one of the things from the chat. Mm. From Tommy and Nico. Uh, it's like really... High up? Yeah. Uh. It's just because I saw it as it was loading back in. Ooh, 30% chose virtue is the middle. Uh, the last thing's my G, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just uh -oh. look. See, I just... Yeah. My chat did the same thing. Interlude. Leave at your own risk. <laughs> so we just, we just gotta watch him? Because if, if we leave... doing? 
Dude, seriously, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah, is this seriously what we're, 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 we're just going to watch this guy? Yeah. They're trying to trick us. They want us to leave so they can kill him. Is that an oatmeal cookie? Yeah. That's nasty. Why would you... Whoever invented oatmeal cookies should be shot. I love oatmeal cookies. I hate oatmeal Then eat the damn oatmeal cookie. Leave the regular cookies alone. Oatmeal cookies are the double. I don't like oatmeal. It's just fine. Jolly to oatmeal cookie. Now I was crying in the bathroom like a little bitch. I did that. Oatmeal cookies with frosting are good. No raisins. Nah, they're I, disgusting. I love oatmeal raisin. Mm mm. Disgusting. Oatmeal cookies with the frosting are good too, though. Peanut butter cookies are good. I want to leave. <laughs> no. How long are we gonna watch this guy? How is this game gonna be like? You have to wait 13 hours. All right, he's back at the computer. He's crying. Don't cry, dude. Don't cry. Peanut butter cookies with vanilla ice cream. I mean, I can go with that. Poof. <laughs> Chair breaks, he dies. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Chapter five. Coke. And cocaine? Actum Tempest. Someone start looking up the land. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. His, his, uh, his patients weren't listening to him. Sorry for disappearing so abruptly. Digging into the past can be taxing work. It's something I often ask for my patients. From my patients, but even for me, it feels like climbing Everest without oxygen, which would be impossible. Wouldn't pass camp. Was it I... US? Huh? T A M P I S or US? What? Chapter name. It's right there. It's literally on the screen. Oh. I'm not looking. I've never been the athletics head. What's on your mind, or the clock is ticking? Probably fat all the time. Uh oh, uh oh, it went up again. It did the thing, mm. but not the heart, the other thing. It's all time. It's all time? According to Google Translate. I don't know what to think, bonding. Apparently we're bonding. Yeah. So that one's bonding and that one's trust. Mm. It says, I traveled way back thinking about how I treated my patients, like numbers with stereotyped ideas, giving cookie cutter treatment. Without reflecting that behind all those troubled minds were real worthwhile individuals who had come to me in dire need of help. And I sat there, feigning a sympathetic ear with all my diplomas and certificates behind me, shouting how good I was. Now I realized they were in fact proof of what an ignorant fraud I was, a failed charlatan. I deserve to rot in here. Too harsh on yourself, or what worries you? What worries you? What up, Evie, Evie, Evie? I'm gonna go with too harsh on yourself. You can't go down that rabbit hole. Cause you never might never come back. You're being too harsh on yourself. Thank you for the red flag warning. I'm gonna blow my brains out. Tell my loved ones. Dachin loves the stuff. I, I love stuff. Also look. So far it's only chapter we're on has a translation of us. Once you start the downward emotional spiral, who knows where you'll end up. I've never had a Vegemite tummy baby. <laughs> it's hard to recognize your negative feelings as just a mental process and not a definition of your identity. What events trigger upsetting thoughts that cause negative emotions easy to become overwhelmed by and reflect a distorted picture of reality? <laughs> to put it in a nutshell, when you become nuts and just completely lose. Escape room. Breathe and relax. It's escape room. Let's think about that place as an escape room attraction. You need to get high and low and breathe and relax. Breathe and relax. Dachin's dog does too. Breathe and relax. Relax, like homie. Gonna get chill. That's a good idea. 
in the middle of hot yoga place. Alright. Tabi Miko says, when I was a kid, we had just one girl from Australia, and she was hella against peanut butter and tried to convert us to Vegemite. We were like, hell no. Her name was Zara. Vegemite, I heard, goes good with, like, thin layer on, like, toast and butter. Yeah, like toast butter. Right now, I'm in the middle of some deep hot shit, but I do need some stretching. Can't feel my feet on cold concrete. Just stretched a bit and bumped into something on the table. Hope it's not a gigantic booger. Give me a moment to do some inspection. You accidentally kicked your cat. Why would there be a booger? How big could a booger be? Oh. It was a booger. Vegemite and avocado. That sounds nasty. Vegemite Reese's. Look at most of <laughs> Really use the square breathing technique for everything in life? Amazing. Most people said escape room. John avocado and toast. Yeah. Chapter 6. Act them, script them. Do we cheat them and how? And you're not going to believe it. No fossilized boogers or chewing gums. Just a key tucked on the side of the table. He's got a key. We're going to get out of this. Evil dipped in avocado. Say what? It's all written. The devil's avocado. Okay, act of is just like, it's all. When you're missing a carpet or a vase to hide a key, why not use the bottom of the table? Time to go, but... But keep a tab on one inside. We don't know what we're facing here, or it doesn't make sense. To hide the key, but put it in the same room as you? I think we're going to go with this one, right? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like the devil's lettuce, yeah. My sister lives in the same city as me and has an avocado tree. To the man's sense here, makes no sense at all. But for one, something in the census place plays in our favor. Ooh, he must be English. Because he said favor with a U. Yeah, color for the whip. I guess it was there waiting for me all along. Maybe, maybe I have it within reach to get out. I just have to find it. Haas avocados are hella good, yeah. Or it's just a macabre game, macabre game to see how long it takes to finish it and reach my final destination. Da, da, da. Evil says, if your channel goes live, they will invade the chat. Uh oh. What do you think's gonna happen? Is the door gonna blow up? No, oh, door, door gonna blow up. It's another room. It's books. It's, it's just your home, but like underground. Maybe it's his office. That does look like his office. Is he in hell? Are we the devil? We're the devil. Oh my god, finally! It's another puzzle. Um. um okay, I got another one. This book gotta go over here. Are we sorting them? Yeah. This book over here. This book over here. No, this book doesn't go over here. I can't pick any other books. Oh! Stop. Oh, okay. I was pushing the wrong button. Hold on. Look at the look at the middle. Yeah, I know. Okay. That's why I put it yeah. here, but I was pushing the wrong button. It wasn't letting me do anything. That's why I was like, what the hell's going on? This one is here. This one is here. This one goes over here. Oh. Uh, this one. My chat's being dumb again. Goes over here. That this purple one, one down there. It won't fit. Take the, the thick green one. Put it up. This one over here. This one. Also up there in the corner. Here. Top. Yeah. And that's how we read comment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This big purple one goes down over there. here. How long do I can do that? I'll tell me I'm gonna have to like order them like that. Ah, oh, I think I know what I gotta do. What? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe what? 
Okay, so you see where the symbols are? Uh, how they are different sides of the book? Mm -hmm. Maybe. You just gotta push the symbols up against it. Not that anymore. Okay, this green book here goes over here. This one up here. Uh, this one also here. Last book should go over here, and that should be it. And that should be it. And that should be it. <laughs> now what? Size? <laughs> Come on, help me out of here. We organized them, now what? Mm, I don't know. Color organized? That would be red, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then where does the gray fit though? Uh, okay, okay, so I think I... Uh, uh, come on, figure this out. This shouldn't be this hard. Shouldn't be this hard. Chat, help. Uh, There's water a water mark. Yeah. Holy out, yeah. Uh, maybe because I have an Atari creep, maybe. A big circle. Where, where are you talking about? How many are you? I see the symbols. You got circle, 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 circle. These are like X's. These are snowflakes. And those are like lightning bolts. But now what? Oh! What? I don't want to. Oh, what? Oh, what? Look at the light on them. Look, look. Look at the X. Oh! I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Look, look, look. Okay, look at this. How this connects here. You see how the light is lighter here? Yeah, but that doesn't, like, when I move the book. This one here, and then it's gonna be this one. That one, then that one. Don't, 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 don't. Leave it. Leave it. No. It's gonna be, it's gonna be gray first. Why would gray go first? Because gray's gonna be It's gonna be gray. Trust me on this one. It's gonna be purple. Gray what? Purple. Purple what? Second? Yeah. Then what? Okay, what's the second? Tell me the order. Green? So green? <laughs> no, no, just tell me the order. Green, oh, what? Thinking. Blue. Okay, green. 
green, blue, no. then what? It's, it was red. It's, it's green, red, blue. Why don't you just put them all in order when I say green, you red, can't, blue? You can't. Okay. Right. Because okay. I didn't know you could do that. Hey, green, red, blue. Yeah. Like that. Okay. There's, there's a spot we're missing now. So put yellow between. Hmm. Purple. All the way. Yeah. You it's see, an infinity symbol. Do you see it now? You I understand? See, yeah. You understand what I was trying to say? Whoever said it's a big circle was wrong, but right, who was that? Uh, evil Mike, could evil. Yeah, no, Mike G. G said a big circle. Yeah, good job, Mike. I would have been here forever. Like, what the fuck's going on? So, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be yellow. Uh, oh, the yellow. No, the yellow's not right there. See? Yeah. No. It's not the green. It's the yellow green. Then it's gonna be purple. And then you're gonna put the red, yeah. The red that way. Right between the blue and the gray. No, never. Never mind, it was the other way. Cause that's gonna no, that's gonna be on the other side. Right? And you wanna just switch the red and <sighs> so, you're gonna want red. No. <laughs> yeah, that one goes red first. And you're gonna want to take. No, that one was that one was right. Because you're gonna take the gray. You're gonna go there. No, no. Yellow. And then that purple goes like. Yeah, see, I figured it out. Infinity, got it. Oh, you figured it out. Don't even. Don't Easy, even. Easy. You figured it I out. figured it out. Easy. It was shaped like a circle of pieces. Okay, well, thanks, Mike G. Yeah. Look, he found the book, Label Infinity. Good job, Mike G, for figuring that out. I would have never, in a million years, got that far. Hello, mate, I'm alive. <coughs> for now. <coughs> It's Evie says I'm just shade. paying attention to the chat. Good job, Evie. I like how he said it was the light and dark shade. I was, that was always, um, that was what I was trying to explain to my father. It didn't work. I drive an infinity and that's not the symbol on my car. We got a Kerr statue. Kid? Kerr statue. Kerr? Ancient death goddess of violent fate who was known to the Greeks in Homeric times and earlier. Daughters of Nyx, sisters, sisters of faith, and doom, death. death, and sleep. Those weren't their names, but you're gonna quote Nyx. I don't know. You're not gonna hear the rest? Nope. Ah, some stuff covered in blankets. I feel like I'm in a creation of Edgar Allan Poe. I keep waiting for an ominous bird to speak to me. Something new. You have to search every inch of that room. Have you found something new? You're just gonna be like, oh yeah. We branch off that way. I want to know what the X's are. Well, the only thing I found is a book. <laughs> I didn't even realize that Mike T was talking about the game. I stream, I'm only sleeping stream. I'm taking my kids to a small amusement park on Tuesday. Awesome, Tommy. Hope you have a good time. A secret book with the infinity symbol on its cover, equilibrium, or the balance of surrounding force. It doesn't end, it doesn't begin, it simply exists. Mike G says there were two same colored books together and one chest was dark and one was light and I saw why and look at the whole thing. You're a lot smarter than us. Yeah, I would have gotten it eventually. I would. It looks sacred, but at first glance, it doesn't look like it's related to any particular religion. Yeah, it's out on the farm, all outdoor. Awesome, awesome. Uh, it's worthless, open it, don't do it. Open it. Even so, I'm afraid to open it. Open it. Boomer's amusement park? Yeah. Go ahead. What harm can a book do? He's going to get, like, powder in his face. Poof. Ah! Well, if I killed him, I killed him. But I would open the book. I wouldn't be so sure. You never saw The Name of the Rose? No, I did not. 
Or the cook, the thief, his wife, the lover, and the dog? Nope. Books can be wielded as seriously potent weapons. Well, I didn't watch any of those. Figuratively and literally speaking. I don't know. Do you trust us? Do you think it's safe? It may be. It may just be a book. It's called Garroy Gardens. But what if it means about it? It's just a book, right? It's just a book. It's just a book. You watch too many movies. It's just a book, dude. Chill out. My new phone keeps putting a Z. Oh, uh, we hurt our relationship. Did we know? It did. The thing glowed red. It's supposed to glow red. No. That means bonding. Red is bonding. But the what? heart glows green. When we got like low on each, they both glowed red. I don't know. Yeah. Things aren't things aren't just things. They can be your way out or your death sentence. She said Z, Tony, not Z. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh look, there's a phone and a gun. <laughs> the book was hiding a weapon. See, you wouldn't have looked at a real one. He's gonna blow himself, he's gonna blow his brain out. An object that looks like a communication device? It's a cell phone. He doesn't recognize what a cell phone is. Lord Zed. And Rita Repulsa. Uh oh. From which I'm speaking to you now? Is it working? Can you read me? Yes, I can. Cool. No more computer every time I want to talk to you. That's Tony, Evie. That's Tony's? It's the uh, Who didn't sleep? Yeah, I don't sleep. Only four hours a night. Although words can be very heavy sometimes. So what am I supposed to do with you? What? It's a mosquito bite. Yeah. No, it's a hickey. I really got a mosquito bite on my neck. That's like so annoying. It's right underneath my jaw. It's Shoot like... the sinister bird that will eventually come to perch over the door. Kill the cat eat it. I'm kidding. I'm not hungry yet. Shoot myself and no, end it right not, here. No, not. No. You have so much to live for. You gotta think for a minute. No, you Don't have... eat the frog. Whatever you do. Don't eat the frog. Don't eat the toilet frog. But you have so much to live for, honestly. But he's a toilet frog. But he wanted to kill himself. Oh. Come on, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Leave at your own risk. I'm not leaving. We refuse to leave. He's gonna he's gonna do it. I watched the Japanese version subtitle on YouTube and Rita Purpulsa's name was Bandora and she was knocking entire buildings down in Tokyo with her wizard staff. I, I didn't know that. The original Power Rangers is crazy. There's a fireplace? How come he don't look out the window? He did. It was just bricks. Was it? Why is that cat so dripped out? I don't know. Yeah, it's called Super Sentai Zuranger, if you ever want to see. Oh, now he's beating doors. When I told him to beat a door, he didn't want to do it. Ooh, he's hitting the pillow. And there are like little seven-year-old kids who run around with real pistols. Jesus Christ. Take a nice nap there. Maybe the cat's going to kill him. A cat will not wait to eat your body. Not like Ray runs? Like real pistols? Ray gun. Oh, Ray gun. Why would it be at my own risk if I leave? I'm not the one who's gonna die. Mm -hmm. Ray nuns. Ray nuns, yeah, that'd be crazy. Like fucking revolvers. <laughs> what would you do if we left and then we came back to the game and it was like, you died? He's still alive, but you died. No, I don't know. And then you died in real life. 
What if hmm. that guy there mm-hmm. is actually playing this game and we're really the people on the computer? We're not, though. What if we're the computer people and he's like real, man? I don't think you <laughs> sucked that hard. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a deep one. You got. Because I'm pinching my fingers close together like it's a roach. I wouldn't know those terms. I and those are not for the robot. It's like an Asian Obi Wan. Yeah. You gotta suck real hard. See. You. I don't smoke. <sighs> Tony knows. <laughs> I ain't never smoked weed. I don't know what I'm talking about. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> those terms. <laughs> those terms. <laughs> Dad's right about smoking. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. <laughs> Shit, don't stay it. Stay lit. Yeah. Shit, don't stay it. That's what I'm talking about. And yeah, what you think? You'll be like. <laughs> It'll go out if you, if you don't hit it hard. Yeah. I... Have you ever watched the Stoner movie? No, I have not. Actually. You roll up a joint, then you put a joint through the joint. And you get cross joint. <laughs> Show Max some Cheech and Chong movies. Yeah. <laughs> Pineapple Express is good too. That's a good movie. You gonna get you some Maui Wawi? Some Acapulco Gold? I mean, I don't smoke weed. Look, chapter seven. Dub- dubium. Pulling the Google Translate again. Someone should really be doing this for us. Hey there, back from the dead. Here in Dead Man's Land. No man's land. No land. Doubt. That's. Swimming amidst my dark, disordered thoughts, I was overwhelmed by a fit and lost consciousness. Dubium, yeah. <laughs> I had the most unsettling dream that turned five minutes of sleeping into an eternity. Time's running out or telling me about his dream? I'm running out about the dream. I'm one of those few who hear and about others' dreams. Tell me about it. We got another red thing. So bizarre, I was in the middle of a huge poppy field. Poppies everywhere. See, he's talking about drugs too. The heart rising was literally a thin red line. Acapulco gold, good times. I had a hat on that I couldn't take off. I looked at the sky, there was this huge vulture flying in circles, fading in and out of distant clouds. Suddenly, after a few uncertain steps, wham, splash. A river formed in front of me, dead body bobbing on its surface. Jesus Christ. You don't recognize the bodies in the water? I came closer and realized that the body, it was me. You don't recognize the bodies in the water? He recognized the body in the water. No, you don't. He did. But you don't. I violently threw up in shock panic, then looked down and saw some nettles breaking across my naked feet. And when I woke up, there was the cat scratching at my feet. That bald Cuban, who's a bald Cuban? There was a restaurant in Portland with that name, you know? I'll Google. Be objective or listen to yourself. If starting to lose track of what really matters, be objective or be only objective. you can answer those questions. Listen to yourself. Be objective. No time for feelings. Be objective. Be, be objective. Yeah, be objective. I always have been. And maybe that's my biggest problem. I don't want to hear about your stupid emotions right now. I'm trying to make sure you don't die. I've led my whole life according to his very strict goals. <laughs> work, family, recognition, money. Do the work to raise the family, to get the recognition, to earn the money. I achieved all that, yet lost it all. Why? Because they gave the same amount of importance. First you get the money, then you get the respect, then you get the bitches. 
What? No bitches? Yeah. But you know wait, what? Wait, wait, I mean no. We have to make choices in life. We can't have everything. Chocolate. Not all Not those piece. who wander are lost. Life is without objective meaning. Which one? Which one? Not all of those who wander are lost. Hey, trust one up. Medium trust. We got ourselves a token fan here. Mm-hmm. You watch you listen to JRR token? TGD Montana. Hell yeah. No, but necessary all the same. And even if one feels lost and missed the winding past, that's how we will find themselves. So. Don't forget to like like the video or some shit. Yeah. Subscribe if you haven't. We know you are, but... Mm. But one has a choice to take the journey to achieve mastery. Or stay a fool forever. What's the choice here? Tex Mex was a really good Tex Mex. Yeah. Mm. To be a happy fool or an enlightened service. Absurdist. Accept the guidance? You can't do it on your own, accept the guidance. Well, I think you know the answer. You know the answer. Happy fool. Happy fool is always the best. Oh, he didn't like that. Good job. Good job. We we were very low. We had it, we had him. I suppose I'm supposed to know it, but I really don't. And being in, in such an over-the-edge experience has made me realize that we should have made the text go faster. That there are no right or wrong answers, especially when you don't even know the right quest. Deep it. thoughts said it, and it was right. You sound like one of my friends, except for one of my friends is more philosophical. But the most important thing is, I want to find out. Find out what? I will find the right questions. Sir. Wow, all the philosophical contemplation left me put. Uh oh, he's gonna kill himself. Give me a few moments to recover. Son of a bitch. Bro, you just came back. Thirty-six percent of the users, including you, are those who probably argue everything that is written about the similarian. Nerds! He called you a nerd! The game called you a nerd! I just didn't like the other quote. Quid erit elude? Oh my god. Give me a second to type that one. It's right there. Quid erat elude. That's not even how you pronounce it. Yes it is. That's exactly how you pronounce it. That's how it sounds. Hope I didn't frighten you away with all that mumbo jumbo about the meaning of life. It was what was that? So let's keep it Monty Pythonian and just look at the bright side of life. Glad you're awesome. feeling better. Latin is more spoken language. So. Yes, it is. Pig Latin. Boom! Finally got a green. Not much of a choice, to be honest. I'm going through a whirlwind of emotions. It's like his mind is, he's, he's, uh, it's mind bottled. You know, when your mind gets all bottled up. Uh, how's Senior Tanuki today, Evie? Eva wants to know. I was super angry, then numb, and then didn't give a damn. Went through a philosophical phase, now I'm just scared as hell again. My hormones are actually crazy. It's toilet room, or it's normal to be scared? It's normal to be scared. Uh, maybe you should take those drugs out of your pocket. You know the drugs that you didn't tell me about? Alright, we went back up a little. Most of the times, being scared is our way of handling our own morality. This is like really deep. And dude, you're just like stuck in a room. It's not that it's not that serious. I'm this is Yeah. But that's not what I'm actually afraid of. I should not burn bridges and just take the high road. Dude, seriously. It's 
not that deep. You're just in a room, you just got kidnapped, and you're being held against your will, and you're probably gonna die. It's not that deep, right? It's not that deep. Really not that deep. I'm aware of the problem, but I can't seem to gather the strength to face them. I You've been here for an hour, by the way. I keep doubting myself and everything else, but I know you have my back. And, so, and sometimes you just knowing that you're not alone is enough to get through the hard times. So here I am. Here I am, just a guy, standing in front of a girl, telling her I love her. Uh, tough as nails, willing to face whatever comes at. Strange, I have a bad feeling about this. What happened? Maybe you're just hungry? What happened? Did you see something? What happened? If you see something, say something. I don't know what those things mean. My own collar already. Legmatic, sanguine. Sanguine is blood. He's anxious. I didn't see anything yet, but I sure did hurt something. Like a little buzz at first, but it's a crescendo now. I'm looking around, but can't trace where it's coming from. It seems to emanate from everywhere. So he's like me a little bit? Maybe. Maybe Tanuki's just a little bit like you. Crazy. Oh, it's kicking the walls. A ghost? Oh, no ghost. guys are I was like, man, I thought it was like a joke. Like, Jesus Christ, this game is weird. Why So there's a way out. Through the fireplace. Mr. Franklin! Yes. Must know that thinking that your positive vibes have the power to change the course of the entire universe isn't 100% backed up by science. Chapter 9. Sister. Sister, sister. Wow, man. Just, it's sister. I came from a place where I didn't believe that Elvis is alive or that man went to the moon. He didn't believe man went to the moon? He's one of those people? Turn his head off. Let him die. He don't deserve to live. But now, I'd believe just about anything. I saw some real shit here that I'm still trying to assimilate. We also didn't believe that Elvis was, a, was dead. No, Elvis is alive. Yeah. I didn't believe Elvis was alive. Mm. Man. We don't know the time period. You left me concerned. Are you okay? Hell yeah, we're acquaintances now. Boom, he's a flat earther, yeah. The fine okay. I'm one piece. I'm in one piece after wrestling with a swarm of locusts. Man never went to the moon. White man's North Korea says no, yeah. I heard that uh, they actually got Stanley Kubrick to film the moon landing. But because Stanley Kubrick's such a professional, he made them fly to the moon in order to shoot the shots. Yep. According to the Old Testament, they bring destruction, devastation, and punishment. In medieval times, they symbolize the torment and ruin of the soul. Today, they represent an excellent source of protein and super yummy, but no, nasty, no. Don't eat bugs. My, um, oh, funny enough, my friend Angelica, um, she has locusts. That's a quality joke, Tony. Thank you. Right? She, she raises grasshoppers. And she, we've seen this before while we were at college. She just picked one up live and all and just ate it. Ugh. We're like Angelica. No. Why? And she's like, oh, actually, we eat this like a snack, and we do this for that reason. And we're, it's Who weren't oh very happy about my presence here? So I don't really know if I'm okay or completely non mentis. As a shrink, I shouldn't use these kind of words, even if in Latin, my fault. Anyway, the moment they were gone, I realized something. Are you hurt? I thought they were like harmless grass. How, does, how did we see that? How are we seeing? Because he said I thought they were harmless grasshoppers. So how are we seeing? Mm. He's bonded again. Not much, just a few scratches, but nothing serious. The adrenaline was pumping so intensely. Yeah, basically he said he was like crazy. Like, like it was 
I almost didn't feel a thing, but I saw them flying into the fireplace and then suddenly disappear. I think I should follow it. There must be a way out through there. Exactly. Exactly. He's gonna get out. He can text us on the phone. Or maybe just to be a musty have a web dungeon. Should I check it out? Check it out, but take the gun. Check it out, but take the cat. I want him to take the cat because I don't want to abandon the cat there. I advise you to check it out, but not alone take the cat. He liked that. We're back to medium trust. Cat, really? I know cats are the first to desert in the face of danger. Cat! Oh, he could be my canary in the coal mine. If he freaks out, I'll know I'm in trouble. Why don't you take the cat and the gun? It's not like it's an either or situation. You got pants. You got it in the back of the pants. You have two hands. You, you can got put one hand for a cat and one hand for a gun. Come here, you little punk. We're going on a mission. A mission from God. Hopefully, we'll be in touch soon. But you seriously. You have no phone? I hate when they give me stupid choices like that. Like, you can't have two things in your hand. You only have one. You um, didn't take the cat. Yeah, as I was gonna say, push the cat through first, I'm done. Cat's over there. <laughs> the cat literally left. Cat. You didn't take the key. Let's just pretend he did. No. Oh, go, no. Stop. Go. You better go back and go get that cat. Second floor. Is that someone? Is that How's that an attic? I said it's like his house, but built. But I was saying, because he was underground, but now it's like... It's a tunnel! Right. There's a bunch of shit there. Like, I'm sure something could be used to get out. There's a window. There's a treasure chest! Open the treasure chest! What's in the box? Who's in the box? Hey, comrade, are you there? Stop being a commie. Fucking communist. So there was a... Actually, a hidden door inside the fireplace. And <laughs> now I'm not a moon landing denier. I made a joke, evil. We landed on the moon. It's jammed with battered boxes of lost treasures. From old records to little wooden sculptures. One cannot progress spiritually without moving. The journey requires a solid and steady vessel. All our senses guide and help us fight against winds and tides. Sometimes secured, sometimes adrift, against or with the flow. The journey of life that starts and finishes at the same place. Most of the times, it's a lonely trip. <laughs> I just threw up in my mouth. Good job. Like an elephant graveyard where memories and Simba died violently. Their sentimental value was gone. We landed on the moon. Tony means the ancient Egyptians landed on the moon in 400 BC. Yep. Exactly. Where do you think the pyramids came from? Uh, Batter boxes of clues or Quinn the nostalgic man? Nostalgic, right? Let's be personal with yeah. him. Yeah, see, we're getting there. We're getting there, Quinn. <laughs> Nostalgia. That impossible journey into the past. You know where else it's impossible to go? Besides on a nostalgia trip? Hmm. Narnia. You can't go to Narnia. Wait, 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 my friend's so far in the closet he's in Narnia. Ooh. Sorry, uh -oh. Julian, if you ever watch this. Uh, to be fair, you're MIA, so. Uh oh, uh oh. What's he doing now? Don't be touching stuff. Another puzzle. Oh, I'm good at these. Bring that one up. Bring those two over. Bring 
calm down. You're gonna want to you're gonna bring that one over. Bring that one over. Top oh, the silver one. Bring that one up. You wanna bring that one back. I used to hang in a place called Mount Shasta and like 50% of the people living there thought they were fucking aliens living inside the center of the mountain and they would sell crystals all over town they were like the rivals of Atlantis aliens or something Jesus Christ Tommy Tom crazy there's like this one weird like job it's like an ice one or something where you're like a fairy keeper or something like that I forgot what it was yeah I know what you're talking about you got, you're a fairy inspector. You gotta yeah. make sure there's no fairies on, on but the, the but the fairies are invisible on the property before yeah. someone can uh, build. Yeah, but the, again, the fairies are invisible, right? So invisible fairies. Yeah, exactly. The only, the only move you got is to move this one this way. Yeah, I know. So I that, uh, do these all the time. Move that there. 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 So you can move this there. So then you can move that there. So you can move that there. No. No. I don't know. Come on, help me out here. That, that. Mm -hmm. Little bitch. Move that one that way, that down, that up there, that way, that one up, that there, this one up. Bring those two that way. You gotta take the that one that way, bring that up. Uh, bring that one that way, bring that down. You think I do anything? Yeah, I know. Give me a second. Don't bring that one back down. Bring those two forward. 
Yeah. That's back. That one, that one down, yeah. Now that's our only issue. Not our only issue, but... Ah, uh, fuck. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Bam, 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 yeah. bam. It's an easy puzzle. I would have gotten it way before you if you hadn't kept touching stuff. Because this place screams clues everywhere. Going through the stuff, I bumped into something. Is that blue? Let's go around. There's a box inside a box inside of another box. Kind of like the Marushka doll. But this little box is locked. Black box. Concealment, secrets, disappointment, maybe just something precious or hideous. So it should be released in the right circumstances. Maybe nothing. What's in the box? With some sort of cryptic lock. Another castle in the air. Fuck. I think I heard something. Who do you think kidnapped them? I know these old floorboards creak like I'm in a, in a Victorian big courage. But unless it's a huge mouse, I have the feeling I'm not alone. Maybe it's a mighty mouse. I feel uneasy now. I think I see something in the dark corner of the attic. Is it a clown? No. Like a human silhouette. It's clown. It's clown. But it still doesn't move. It's clown. It's clown. It's clown. I have to go closer. No. You don't. I'm taking the cat. So I took the pistol. Hello, humans. Uh, face reveal. Eska heels? <laughs> yeah. Quinn, the nostalgic man, battered box of the clues. 11% of the users, including you, please listen. The past keeps us from the truth and pain of present reality. It was amazing, irrevocable. And will always be better than now, even if your memories are distorted and you just like creating those big fantasies in your head. Chapter 10 Conservatorium. I'm gonna take a wild guess, and that's like conservation or something. Oh, okay, I got it. Put the gun. Yeah. It's a statue of what's his name? Anubis. Mm hmm. Hey comrade, are you there? Just made two major discoveries. Conservatory. Yeah. Yeah, my big threat was an upsetting <laughs> real life statue of an Egyptian guy. Half man, half jackal, god of embalming, ruler of the underworld, the guardian of the skills that weighed the heart of the right, but I can't read nothing because it's like, the heart of the dead. That doesn't say heart. This is hurt. Earth. That, that measured the hearth of the death. death. See if it was worthy enough to live an eternal life. You know, the feather and the. Yeah, heart. No, I just want to know what it said because the stupid chat was in the way. And that weapon has no bullet. How do I know, you may ask? I didn't. But I'm sure you'll tell me. Well, let me tell you one thing. I wasn't so hesitant to shoot a stranger as I thought I would be. Which is a bit disturbing to say the least. In a real life or death situation, dude. I mean. Not really. Almost forgiven. Man, this half man, half dog creature is really creepy. No, it's not. He's a furry. <laughs> no wonder it ended up covered in, an, in a forgotten corner of the attic, and that's not all. It holds a tray and something's written on it. How does it feel? How does it feel? What's the message? How does it feel? What's the message? How does it feel? No. I, you gotta be nice to him, because that's how you. you Maui Waui is still around. I never seen Acapulco Gold or White Widow anymore. Ancient Strings. Wow, that's an old chat. Yeah. It just came back. <laughs> How does it feel? Egyptians, first furries confirmed. What up, Bob? Exactly. How does it feel? I'm going with how does it feel. No. 
Oh. How does it feel to shoot at someone? Boom. Those are wrong. I, mean, I told you. I told you. Come on. First of all, I almost shot a statue. Second, I kind of sensed that I wasn't shooting at someone real. Third and last, I felt cheated. I felt cheated, but then relieved there were no bullets. But that's not important right now. The hideous creature has a message for us. It's not hideous. Leave him alone. It says, in order to go up, you must go down first. Great. Helpful is use the roof or go down. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I want issues because it took great last time. Well, it says in order for us to go up, you must go down first. I'm going to say go down. There was a ladder next to the staircase yeah. that you went up. That's a good assumption. But what can I find inside this box? Is it worthy of all this trouble? They call aliens called Lumerians? Wow. What if it's just a distraction and my real chance of escaping is from here? Addicts are the forgotten places all houses where things come to die. So you go down. There has to be something else here. Flashlight. See the cat woman. Uh-oh. The Hobbit door. Coraline. Everybody's something Coraline. She's a da 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 friend of mine. I don't know the words of the song. You see, sometimes my instinct works too. Searching through all the junk, I found the torch. You didn't find a torch. It's a torch. He's British, remember? Right. Switching on the torch, the light point. That's not a torch, dude. I watched this the movie Stargate on VHS while I was on acid once. It's amazing. I never think of Egyptian stuff that same after that shit. Tea's disgusting, Bob. Tea's disgusting, even with milk. Is good movie in Russian accent. Stargate is one of my favorite franchises. Uh, is it, Bob? I, I watched it once. It was kind of dumb. Should we go in the door or not? Open the door or don't open, open it? Open it. You sure? Yeah. Alright. Cool. Look at every exit as being an entrance to somewhere else, which means open it. He liked that. See, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. People like me. An entrance to somewhere Not else doesn't really. always mean a good thing. <laughs> Boo! Tony, it's called sci-fi. It's called... It can't be sci-fi play. And it's it's kind of dumb. It's kind of dumb. Stargates aren't real. Hashtag no stargates. There's also brownies, you know. Yeah, I know. They're like a vent. What if that leads to the chimney? It gets really good if you follow the series. I just saw the first movie with Kurt Russell. Nice. And it wasn't that good. That's pretty. It looks fake, but it's pretty. Good gracious me. Good gracious? Goodness gracious, great bowels of fire. I just found the most amazing greenhouse full of plants and flowers. It's a bit neglected, I gotta say, but. The lights weren't were blue UV lights. One of my ex girlfriends from the high. Blah, blah, blah. Jesus Christ. One of my ex girlfriends from high school is still a friend. She moved to LA. She told me she does shrooms at Disneyland regularly. The series was much better. It gets well deep into lore and expanding universe. The movie sucks in comparison. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it has this sort of creepy mildew and most of the plants are all dried up, curled and brown. But I gotta say, it lifted my spirits a bit. It's a glass house with wooden structure and it's bathed in moonlight. Beautiful. Right the glass. Regularly happiest person ever. But surprisingly, there are a few alive as well. Like they were recently watered and groomed. Uh oh, it's talking about Ezra Miller. Too soon. 
Too soon? The other day I made a joke about Ezra Miller fighting uh, America Chavez. Because America Chavez is from another planet, so they could have Alien vs. Predator. They made that joke with James Charles and with Jeffree Star <laughs> and with everyone else. There are some willows and them and knees. And them and them and them and knees. And them and them and them and them and them and It's animals. And them and knees. Right? No. And them and knees. Animals. Animos. I'm pretty sure it's either anemones or, or anemones. Animos. 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 That's my page to your mom, animos. <laughs> and others that I don't have the slightest idea what they're called. There's something attached to the carnivorous plant and to the petunia. Petunia. You know why we're going to pick the petunia? Why? Because Mary Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With cockle shells and silver bells and one measly petunia. Oh. What up, Albert? Hello, humans. That would be, that would rock evil and call the cops on yourself. What are you doing now, evil? What are you doing? I'm gonna do a mushroom stream, what you think? Yeah, I don't think so. It looks like a flower plucked about ten blah, 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 plucked about ten seconds ago. A contradictory flower, anger, resentment, desire to spend time with someone, a symbol of not losing hope. Aboriginal name, a tobacco that does not make a good smoke. Yeah. Shrooms always make me vomit. Hey <laughs> Albert, it is probably a mobile name. That's the thing about flowers, I guess. Common sense tells us flowers make us happy. Even the ones you never liked. Uh oh. What do you do now? Uh, J.M. DeLosanto says, Bob, what is your face off of Retro Bro? How much is on the line? Uh, depends if Retro Bro is up for it. Ooh, he climbed through a wall. I'm going out. I'm not even asking if I should. Sorry. This is amazing. Is it? I'm under a roof. I'm on a roof under the most beautiful sky. I feel like you're not, though. I'm walking, but I can't see much. <laughs> it's too dark. Turn back or enjoy the fresh air. I feel like he should turn back. Because I feel like he's just going to go... I'm gonna go enjoy the fresh air. Sure. Enjoy the fresh air for a minute or two because you know that you have to go back and open the box. Anything? 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 I'm enjoying it for the first time in a while. Some weird therapy. Never thought it could be. Ba 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 ba. How'd you have a flashlight? A torch. Right off the roof. Just. Right off. Yeah. Yo, we have to all trip on stream, Bob. Bob the Builder, too. Yeah, Bob's got to get drunk on stream again. Shouldn't you be yelling if you're outside, right? Just start running. No, I mean, you're on a roof, so you'll fall. But you should at least be yelling, like, hey, help somebody. If he was on a roof, hear me out, if he was on a roof, why were the windows covered in bricks? That was in the second floor, in the basement, in the basement. Look, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get ourselves up on the then roof. Then we're gonna second we're floor. We're gonna get ourselves it was the basement and then the roof. Right, because he went from the basement and he went up three flights of stairs because it was a little windy. He went up the stairs. He got up onto the roof. He gonna jump it down. It just looks like he's gonna jump up. right off the roof. It's safe. Land on his back. Just, just, it ain't gonna hurt. Just land on the back. No, all you gotta do is roll. Why would you go back in the house? You just escaped the killer and now you're back in the house. Good job. And you're going through the bed. See, look at one. That's just two. Three. There's a slide. Whee! Where'd the slide come from? 
So I wasn't there the first time. Yeah. It's a peacock, which I believe is a sign of Hera. It's... It is. Like, a male peacock. Which is a sign of Hera, I believe. You know there's no such thing as a female peacock? What? There's no such thing as a female peacock. Like a peafowl or something. It's a peahen. Peahen. Two percent of users, including you, like the, like things the easy way. If a door opens, it's your door. Everyone else, see, everyone else was scared and they didn't let them go through the door. Morales is the next. Mm, morals? Morality? It's it's something like that. I know that. Uh oh. He's looking at ancient Egyptian stuff. And the Trojan War, it seems. So Greek and Egyptian. Also morales. Uh, well, that's Latin. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, just morals. So it seems I'm about to discover the catacombs of this place, and from what I was able to see, it's a pretty daunting task. But here I am, following orders from inanimate objects and pretty flowers to go down and gather elements that will help me open the little box I found, which can contain something as useful as someone's first cut curl or a secret sex tape. Ooh. Anyways, gotta look up the opaque side of life and grab onto the little hope I had. What is the puzzle? Damn it. Sons? You have more than one kid? I don't know. What's going on here? Uh, what do you think is Mike Butler's motivation for featuring his son Seth in his videos and his Amico videos? Is he virtual signaling, trying to garner sympathy, or what? Also, this is a puzzle. He was trying to show that children like the thing and that we were all dumb and stupid for not saying that children like it. Um, he says, uh, he then later complains why people are attacking his kid. You're doing the right thing, Tony. You don't show you or your son's faces and you don't exploit your kids. Yeah, he was basically trying to use his kid as a shield afterward. Look, if you put your kid in a video, no one should be making fun of your kid and nobody, as far as I know, made fun of the kid. They didn't make fun of the way the kid looked, they didn't make fun of the way the kid talked, they didn't make fun of the way the kid's smart. They just said, we don't believe him, we think the kid is just saying things to make his dad happy. That's yeah. not making fun of the kid, that's not attacking someone's kid. Uh, Mike Mullis is a sensitive little bitch, and that's all I'm going to say about can that. We, can we do the game? Yes, we can do the game. Shut up! Embarrassing me on screen. They were like, Dad, yeah, Tony just smacked this kid. Oh, what the hell am I doing? That doesn't do anything. Like if it resets 
Missing something, but I don't know what. of some sort. That much I know. Yeah. I feel like that and that mean something. Yeah. But I don't know what. Which one? <laughs> you gotta up, up, and then you gotta 
get rid of the, all of the, that one. And then that, get rid of that, go to that one. No, that one's fine. That one's fine? Yeah. Uh, gotta move that line over. Yeah, it's an eyeball. Like the peacock eye. And there's a giant obelisk. Or a pole. It's a stripper pole! We're in a strip club! Together make a song, you time and evil, or each do a song. Uh, you guys should all do one verse of a song. Royal Peacock. In Greco-Roman mythology, the peacock symbolized the vault of heaven and the eyes of the stars. In Hinduism, it represents benevolence, patience, kindness, compassion, and good luck. In Asian spirituality, it is an emblem of love, compassion, watchfulness, goodwill, nurturing, and kind-heartedness. In Babylonian and Persia, is seen as a guardian of royalty. In Christianity, it represents the passive vigilance, resurrection, renewal, and immortality. In stay, it looks like the companion of Humpty Dumpty. Uh. The royal peacock rocking around, losing feathers everywhere. It represents ascension and spiritual evolution being worn by the chiefs to symbolize their communication with, with spirit. Not spirits, but spirit. As a Celtic symbol, meaning the feather was worn by the Druids in the form of an ornate feather robes to invoke the sky gods. The Egyptians believed the same. In Christianity, feathers are represented virtues. What's heavier, a pound of feathers or a pound of blood? Pound. Um, now it's denser. It's like yes, I swear it to you, it's true. You say, girl, you know it's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I made it alive and kicking and so damn tired. I can't stop, won't stop, can't stop, won't stop. And there's no way back. I really need to find my peace of mind. Whatever I'm looking for. Just let me catch my breath. A few minutes, I'll be back. <sighs> It's a 33rd degree anti Miko call. Uh oh, he slid down the stripper pole. Into the basement basement. Why, why is it? He can't get back up the stripper pole. Good job. Every night I'm like, oh, I'm gonna finish the Saggy song or watch Obi Wan Kenobi. And when you fucker streams, I get high and stay up. Um, simple solution: don't get high. Psychic Max says, stop getting high. He said drugs are bad. Okay. Psychic Max is gonna go get us some milk to drink. Mm -hmm. A big old glass of milk. All right, got her. Mm -mm, melt. There he goes, getting that melt. Alright, what the fuck's going on, check? If you guys kick me out of the exclusive club, I'll join the Amico Cult. They're short of members right now. Me the weed, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. I was gonna write a sing, but when then I got high. Song, song, gotcha, evil. Our streams are better than Disney Plus. Yes, they are. I almost fell down the stairs. Also, I'm back, guys. You miss it, they were singing, they were going to give you up. Uh... Good advice, Max. What? Stop smoking. Yeah. It's that simple, just don't mm -hmm. smoke. 
That's a good song. I was going to play some games, then I got high. Mm -hmm. I'll search that up right now. Culinary. Jeez, it seems I reached the heart of this place. In other words, the kitchen. Although this one more looks like Hell's Kitchen. What's his name's down there? Gordon Ramsay's down there. <laughs> Not the TV show with the blonde blokes who says cuisine. fuck every two seconds. Every time I, I make meant, a joke, the game makes the joke. I, I think they meant Kulina because that's Kulina Kitchen. Cocina. Even Saggy Melons is starting to see these guys are felons. Did we hear that line before on our last stream? Yeah. The refrigerator from Requiem for a Dream and a table with some hybrid game that crosses chess with Jumanji. Sorry about all these movie references. It's easier than describing it accurately. I'm lazy. I gotcha, I gotcha. I just stepped in what I hope is a puddle of water, barefoot. I've been working on this song longer than any other song because I'm lazy. I was gonna write a saggy song, then I got high. Ooh, was gonna sit down and write some lines, then I got high. Now the saggy song is stuck, and I know why. Why, Max? Cause I got high. Cause I got high. Cause I got high. I really I got high. Song, unironically. <laughs> Saggy's melons aren't saggy yet. Um, I would not know. Saggy's pretty chesty, and when you're chesty, your melons get saggy. <laughs> Any idea about the owner? Or kitchen knives? Owner, right? Mm-hmm. You like that. Tony got some bad skills, I got no skills. I got the skills to pay the bills and that's about it. He's still thinking about his former patient. I had one who was really complicated. Almost killed a friend over an absurd discussion. He was like, is Yumiko a scam? And he's like, no, Yumiko's not a scam. <laughs> Try to shoot him. But one of those people who only pontificates and never discusses. If it's him, I'm doomed. That sounds like me. I always pontificating. I pontificate like a motherfucker. You know what that means? Yep. I don't. But nothing like checking someone's drawers. Ooh, don't check your drawers for them dirty secrets. Let's see, an old rusty knife and a silicone spatula. Who's that one guy, Rusty, Rusty what? Rusty Cage? Rusty Cage. Rusty Shackleford. Rusty Cage is that one music dude. Yeah. Real cool. Love, love his video. Yeah. What up, sweet and tender hooligan? See, Search for food. Pontificate means to express one's opinion in a way considered annoyingly pompous and dogmatic. You can just describe it to me without the definition. No, no, I need you to make sure you got the official. Every time I look at the fridge, my stomach churns. I feel weak. My legs are shaky. Touch for food. I feel weak. My legs are shaky. My feet dripping in sweat. My arms are ready, covered in mom's spaghetti. Arms are heavy, he's covered in his vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. Have you seen that video where they just. His knees are mom's spaghetti. Just everything's mom's spaghetti. Everything's mom's spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. it's really stupid. Really need some fuel. I always figured being under extreme stress would annihilate my appetite, but my body seems to work the other way. Check the fridge, search for food, find an exit. Search for food. There must be some non-perishable. Search for food. When is Daft Girl gonna quit making music? I don't know. He's bro. Da da dee da 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 dee da da do 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 do. 
Where's Tommy Tellerico? I don't know. Where in the world is Tommy Tellerico? I can't believe they ruined Carmen San Diego. They made her like an anti-hero. She's supposed to be the world's greatest thief. She's not supposed to be a good guy. Play the game! I am playing the game! You're on your phone! Cool, first the fridge. I'm not on my phone. I was checking the chat. Mm-hmm. Right. Look, you need to shut up. Uh, thanks for being empathetic. Look at that. We're becoming acquaintances. Our trust is very high. We can tell them to do anything now. We can be like, hey! Kill yourself! Shoot yourself with a gun! Gun had no bullets. Yeah, so two birds, one stone, as they say. Boom. Mom's spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Aw, oh, yeah. You need to make some songs. Who needs to make songs? You. Uh-uh. Not me. I hope Daft Bro keeps it up and develops his skills. Smack your dad for talking to you that way, Max. You gotta stand up for yourself. Don't take that BS for anyone. <laughs> I'd whoop Max's ass. I hit a kid in the throat or in the ribs. My dad taught me how to break a rib, so I'm not gonna. He knows. We just reach in, pop that rib right out. Pop. I scared someone like that because I was like, look, if you do this, because they're a skinny kid, and I was like that, and they felt it, I'm like, and if I just close my hand and pull back, and they're like, they jerk me, they're like, stop, stop, they start crying, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm just showing you. Do it, do it or just starve. Punch your dad's balls, that's the almost statement that you, yeah. Of your own existence, yeah, right. Do it, do it. Come on, maybe it contains something else that might turn out to be useful. Do it. <sighs> I broke a rib trying no, Albert. No, Albert. Bad, Albert. I really thought you would sense my discomfort and suspicion. You should see how the fridge looks. Dude, just open the fucking fridge. Stop being a bitch. Brett Bamaboot, Wes. Nice. I know you should never judge a book by its cover. In this case, a fridge by its dingy door. It's author Brett, author Weiss, the author. Gives him the heebie-jeebies. So much so that I would nearly ignore my hunger. But that's not an option anymore. Open sesame. Um. She's got a Oh, he got electrocuted. Man, we had that many more chapters to go. Come on. I don't know, we've been, how, we've been playing this game for two hours? Yeah, it's 10.30. Ah, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna call it here. And uh, we'll come back. There's another 12 chapters to go. We'll come back, what, what is it? Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday we'll play Minecraft. Well, not Tuesday, then Friday. No, Friday won't be here. Next Sunday, we'll be back. Hopefully he isn't dead. <laughs> Uh, this game is great. It, it's a weird game, that's for sure. I thought it was going to be more... Uh, less reading, I thought, but apparently it's, it's a lot of reading. Yeah. Uh, also, that music is ominous. It is ominous. Do we electrocute himself? Do you want any of this before I take it downstairs? No. Alright, everybody. Uh, have a good evening. Enjoy your 4th of July. Damn it. I pushed the wrong button. Oh yeah, yeah, summer school coming out, so streets right here. Yeah, alright. Take it easy. Love, peace, booty grease.